So, full time Arsenal 2, Brentford 0. And this will be my match reaction after our three points. And uh, yeah, I said in my pre- pre- uh, preview that I think we're going to win soon. I've got my prediction right again, by the way. That's like three weeks in a row I've got my predictions right, by the way. Just like, you know, come in the prediction, God. But anyway, um, yeah, finish Arsenal 2, Brentford 0. Saka and Emma Smith of course, with the goals. Emma Smith are getting into double digits now of 10 for him this season. Saka's got another one as well. And yeah, a very, very good win. Um, you know, we absolutely dominated Brentford's. And as soon as I saw the lineups, I thought, no Ivan Tony for Brentford. I don't know what's going on. Is he injured or whatever? And I thought, you know what? No, no Ivan Tony for Brentford. Let's just be real quick. We're going to win this, right? And yeah, they, they had nothing there. Like, uh, they, they did play their two strikers, Wizza and uh, Embremo. But yeah, they didn't really do much. And we had, I'm looking at the stats right now. We had uh, 24 shots, eight on target. They only had four and one on target. So we dominated possession. And overall, it was a very dominant performance. And that is very good for us because I, I said in my pre- in my preview, right? If we we there's, there's, we, we can't draw this game, it's got to be must three points. We wouldn't get any chance of top four. And once again, the results have uh, gone our way this season. Once again today, West Ham well, uh, drawing one with Newcastle. So we've got three games over uh, three games to hand over them. And <clears throat> if we beat them, and of course Man United do play tomorrow against Leeds. So if they get a draw or if they lose then we can go into that top four spot. Um, having said that, on our, our next fixtures, then they're, they're not going to be easy at all. We've got Wolves at home, we've got Watford and Leicester, and then Liverpool as well, and then Villa, and then Palace away. These these is not, I call, call Chelsea as well. These, these are not easy games. So this, this was a must-win game, you know, as simple as that. And, and we got the win. I'm, I'm very happy with the performance. Um, I, I did see parts of the game. I saw Smith Rowe's goal. Lovely, lovely finish, by the way. Lacazette passed to him, and it's just all Smith Rowe skipping past. I mean, it was a beautiful, beautiful finish. So was um, Saka's as well, to be fair. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's it's a very, very good win. And you know, as I said, guys, yeah, I know it's against Brentford, but I thought they would come out a bit more, you know, stronger. But obviously, they're not. I don't know what is. Maybe because Ivan Tony didn't play because he said fuck Brentford. In, in that party thing. I don't know guys but what we'll say is in terms of how we lined up Tommy Ashley was back in training right but we played Cedric and I thought Cedric was superb to be fair to Cedric I thought he'd done really well of course we had Ben White Gabriel as always very very solid Tierney as well actually um, when who was it that came off when Lacazette came off he got given the captain's armband I was like oh my god make it happen give Tierney captain you know because obviously he, he he's an absolute baller and he deserves to be captain. Of course, Granit Xhaka thought I've won a decent game. So it's from his party. Uh, Odegaard was creating fins as well. Smith Rowe is absolutely superb. And <clears throat> Saka as well getting a goal. Lacazette, yeah, we, we can just tell we just really need a, uh, we need a new striker. And for me, guys, Nicola Pepe, although he didn't actually get a chance off the bench, I just think he's finished. I think the, the fans clearly don't rate him. You know, even though he did come off the bench and actually had a really good chance of scoring. Um, when you play Smith Rowe on the left hand side instead of Nicola Pepe, you know science run. And when you have to play Odegaard on Smith Rowe instead of Nicola Pepe, <clears throat> you know science run. And yeah, Smith Rowe deserves to start. I, I, said, I said in my preview, I'll put Smith Rowe and drop my Odegaard and put Pepe on the left hand side, put Saka on the right, and then play Smith Rowe number 10, like I said, up top, or even put Pepe up front because he played, played there for Lille. But I, th- I think he's finished once again on the bench today. And I don't think, when was the last time Pepe actually start, started the Premier League game? I know he started in the Cabo Cup. But when was the last time he actually started a Premier League game for Arsenal? You know, I, I can't really think of one. I can't think of any, to be honest, where he's, where he's actually started the game. Um, I know Saka is, is an absolute baller, right? But, you know, Pepe, he's played Cabo Cup games. He, he's, he's looked very, very good. I know it's against Simon, I know it's against West Brom and all that. And when he came on today as well, he just... He, he did try and create stuff. And I just think Martinelli, of course, will be playing from now on. But, man, Pe- Pepe, I think, I think he's going to leave. I actually think he's going to leave, guys, unfortunately. That's what I think. And I rate him very highly. You know, not not many of our fans do for some reason. Because maybe it's his price tag. Maybe he just didn't live up to his price tag. But for me, I rate Pepe very highly. So, yeah, you know what? We're going to go into some player ratings now, guys. Because why not? And... Yeah, when I rate some of these players, and I'm very happy with the win, guys. You know, it's for three points. We are still in sixth, as I said, um, because obviously we've, uh, we've got a few games in hand to play, and uh, we need to win every single one of them if we want to get top four. And it's, this, is, this is how the season's going to be now, guys. It's going to be we need to win to get top four. Uh, it's a bit echoing. Hold on, guys. 
is a bit of an echo at the moment. Uh, let me try and uh, sort that out. Where's my controller? All right, if, if, if I turn, turn on my CV, guys, hopefully it works. But uh, yeah, guys, you can see the screen. And yeah, so look, this is the table so far. We're in sixth position. 42 points joined. We're literally one point up top four with three games in hand. That's a, that a beautiful um, place to be in right now. You know, of course, teams trying to catch off Wolves. I don't know who they're playing. I think they're playing Leicester. 30, 39, 40. And then once again, it'll, <laughs> the next game is after saying it on Thursday. So that will come down. Whoever wins that will go above, maybe. To, and Wolves can still get top four, by the way, even though they, even though we did beat them, we, um, they can still get top four. So, yeah, you know what we're gonna do. Of course, uh, not ninety five minutes in, um, we've got the player ratings here. Uh, Rams own goal. I want clean sheet once again. Brilliant, brilliant goalkeeper. Did didn't have anything to do to be honest. You know, not, nothing to do whatsoever. Uh, Cedric, I'm gonna give. Uh, sorry, Rams. I'll, my rating for him is gonna be eight. Cedric Suarez can get an eight as well. I thought it was absolutely superb. Had a few really good runs. I defended really well and done a really good top, job for Tommy Yasu. Um, now, the time for me, Cedric, right, he plays He plays really shit. You know, he, 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 he's hit a miss, ain't he? Sometimes he plays against not the Forest, for, for example. Very, very poor. Against teams like Brentford. And then today, like I said, he played really, really well. So, I don't know what it is with him. He needs to keep playing well because he he could be a good backup if he plays the way he did today. But having said that, it, against a better side like Liverpool in the Cup, Cup, he was shocking as well. So it's one to see. But uh, Ben White eight, Gabriel eight, Tierney eight. I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give most. I've got the defense. See, they didn't have a lot to do, but they was when they had they, they dealt with it really well, and that's all you can ask, ain't it? You know, of course for the fullbacks you can ask them to get forward, and that's what they did. Tierney as well. So I'm gonna give him away. Uh, part A. I'll give him a seven. I thought he was all right. Same with Granit Xhaka, to be honest. Both of them in the midfield, dominated the midfield. Uh, Brentford actually played, look at this. They played literally a, what was it, a, five, a three five two. So, yeah, that was a tough job for them. And you had obviously Odegaard was chucking back as well, which is nice to see because he doesn't usually do that as such. He's more of the creative player. And Saka, nine out of ten, four superb as always. Smith throws my man out of the match again. You've got to give it to, you've got to, give it to him. He got us the important goal, which lifted us in the end. And once again, that's 10 goals that Emma Smith thrown out. Yeah, absolute baller. And um, of course, Odegaard, I'm, I'm gonna give him a, I'll give him an eight as well. Of course, like I said, for me, he's going to get a six. He was poor. Yeah, he got an assist. But that was about it. There's Obviously, we had a goal disallowed, right? With rightly so offside. But this, this like I said, he's just not, he's not clinical enough, right? He, 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 make him, he, he works really hard. Yeah, that's all, that's all well and good. But you're playing as a striker and you've got to be able to take your chances. And he had a few chances today that, once again, against a better side would have would, would cost us, you know, against Wolves the, the other night. Again, had countless chances, didn't score one. Against yeah, so Brentford today, you've got to be scoring, mate. And this is why we need a new striker. How, By the way, how is he playing 98 minutes? It's like, hold on. <laughs> Can you imagine if, if someone scores, I've got, I've got to change the scoring and all that. <laughs> no, but like, look at this, guys. 24 shots. Eight on target, we dominate in possession, and Chelsea winning one nil. Uh, I I just thought that um, uh, who a few people are they playing Palace? I don't know who they're playing, but ninety eight minutes gone. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. A very very good win for Arsenal. Very happy, and when I'm happy, then I'm sure you guys are happy as Arsenal fans as well. Of course, I've also got a new haircut by the way, guys. I think he I don't know what it is. It's not the best, but it it does the job. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm still on Twitter, around, by the way. If people won't think I want to change that. I'm not changing that until I see any any progress in the season, which I ain't seen any. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.